Hi everybody, it's Becky from the Sweet Tea Shed and I told you that I was going to show you how I made this cute little uh, crate um, um, yesterday. So anyways, I went ahead and took the liberty to cut up my napkin, but this was a, a I think a lunch size napkin. And look how cute it is. Pigs and bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Um, but anyway, um, but first off, a tip. Be sure you separate your plies because I didn't separate my ply on another napkin that I had, a beautiful floral napkin. And uh, yeah, well, that didn't end up so well. So please separate your plies. Only have one ply when you are adhering it to uh, whatever to, um, crate or whatever you're adhering it to. So I'm just really taking some Mod Podge now on my, just on a um, paintbrush and uh, working it through really well. Not extremely heavy, but not super light because we want to be able, um, you can maybe kind of, sorry, kind of see it shiny a little bit there. Um, and this one has the creases in it, so I'm making sure I've got it in the creases. And then I'm just taking my sweet napkin. I wish you could see this better. Okay, let's try that. Taking my sweet napkin and I am just putting it on top and leaving a little edge on both the top and the bottom and very gently taking my hand and just rubbing over it, okay? And then I'm taking the same mat, I'm using mat, Mod Podge, and just uh, going over it again. You can kind of see I'm kind of using, not again, real heavy, but uh, thick enough that we want it to, to adhere to that crate. So just going back and forth, doing my best to get what wrinkles in here out. That was my uh, my uh, takeaway when I was doing it earlier. I'm like, why are these wrinkles? Oh my gosh, it's bubbling. Yeah, I had two plies on there. So yeah, lesson learned. Okay, so this crate has these cute little lines, right? So I'm just using my brush to just gently go through the lines so that kind of sticks out even more uh, when it dries. Look how cute that's going to be. Be sure you get as much of that Mod Podge in there as you can. Oh, so cute. And since I cut it big enough to go on the bottom, I am just literally going to take my Mod Podge and go along the bottom. Again, giving it a pretty good dose of Mod Podge. Not too heavy, not too light, and medium. I don't know, however you want to say that, but not too heavy, not too light. And then I'm just going to flip my napkin on over, smooth it out the best I can with my little hands, fingers. Same process. So I'm going to do this to all sides of my my cute little crate here. Uh, it's, it's seriously just that simple, just that simple to do. But in lieu of um, of trying to save time and not have a super duper long video, um, just wanted to kind of show you guys. I'll keep smoothing it out, going to the sides as far as I can. Um, and then once this dries, once it dries completely, once I get all of this done, um, I'm going to I cut some of this out using my water pen. Okay. Um, water on the top, so easy, cut around it, and I'm going to do a little peekaboo on here, and I'll post that down in the comments or maybe another video, um, but once it all dries, I will use my my file, right, put your file to your tile, but let it dry first, if you do it, it's going to kind of mess it up, so let it dry completely, and then you're just going to go literally along the edges like this, and it's going to cut that napkin just perfectly sharp like that. Is perfectly sharp so and then I'm going to do a peekaboo as well and this one I attach some little spools to how cute is that so I'll either maybe I don't know maybe I'll do some spools or maybe I'll do I've got some little round wooden ball things I don't know so uh, you make it your own you do what you want to with it but OMG I'm gonna put some maybe fake succulents or something in there I don't know but holy buckets so easy so inexpensive crepe was from the Dollar Tree so a buck um, I used the white chalk paint on this one. I used the uh, matte Mod Podge. I've also got glossy Mod Podge that I might put on, on it later to make it glossy. Otherwise, I'll spray it with the acrylic, um, like a spray paint glossy acrylic. So um, that's it. That's all that you need. And uh, again, I'll post uh, in the bottom, I'll post some pictures once it's done so you can see what it looks like. But it's just that doggone simple Mod Podge napkin Mod Podge. Be sure you get them in those cute little crate, crate creases. Look how cute that is! Oh my gosh, so cute. So anyway, all right, I'm easily entertained obviously, but um, you guys have a great day. I hope you learned a little something new today and ask me any questions that you might have and uh, you guys be good. Talk to you next time. Bye everyone.